So you want to find out how to easily fix your Sims 4 game, CC or mods without removing your CC, then keep on watching. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to see you. I actually have quite a few videos talking about this very subject, but today's video is going to be a little bit more simplified, if you will. So before we get into this video, just a quick reminder, if you like this type of content and if you find it useful, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz. Hit notification bell to be notified whenever i'm uploading a new video because it truly truly means a lot thank you so much and i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart but back to our video you can easily fix your sims for game cc or mods without removing your cc by following these steps step one drag and drop your mods folder to desktop now do not delete it because you will need it later on to add your cc and mods back into your game and also make sure to delete your current mods folder from your sims folder. Step 2. Open your electronic cards, the Sims 4 folder and delete the following three files. Game version, options that any, as well as local thumb cache that package. Now many people have told me that they've tried to delete these files and they still show up in their, you know, the Sims 4 folders. Do not worry if those show up after launching your game. It is completely normal for those to be generated after opening your game. It's like your browser scan cache you delete it once and if you keep on you know using your browser searching accessing different websites more and more cache files will be accumulated within your browser the same goes for the sims or cache so do not worry if those show up you just have to delete those files once and uh, as i said before do not worry if they show up in your sims or folder after you know opening your game step three repair your game through origin and to do that first things first make sure to have online mode turned on just go to origin and then click on go online then you will need to go to game library right click on the sims 4 and then select repair wait for that repairing process to be completed step 4 launch your sims 4 game with online mode turned on within origin and then completely exit your game now open your documents electronic cards, the sims 4 folder, and then a new mods folder it should appear right over here. If you cannot seem to find a brand new mods folder, please sign out of origin, sign in once again, turn on online mode, launch your game, then completely exit your game and your new mods folder should appear right over here. Step 5. In regards to mods, please download the latest version for those as, you know, outdated or broken mods can lead to many issues. So please download once again your most used mods. Use a file extractor program if needed in case your particular mod has a zip or a RAR extension, then open it with that program, select your mods file, drag and drop those into your main mods folder as i said before do not use subfolders because your mods won't show up or won't work properly in your game now if your mods don't have a zip or a rar extension things are simpler because all you need to do is to simply you know select your mods files copy and paste those directly into your mods folder and i'm reinforcing and re-emphasizing this idea once again do not place your mods or cc in subfolders as some of those won't work properly or won't even show up in your game. Step 6. As far as CC go, you can copy your old CC from your old mods folder to the newly generated mods folder, but in small batches that is absolutely, absolutely important and key. And make sure to open your game every single time you paste those just to make sure that everything works properly. If you still encounter this issue, please try to identify the problematic CC within your batch and remove it from your mods folder. Step 7. Launch your game once again and see if your sims houses cc mods you know work fine it is super super important to test those out because those can tell you if there's something wrong with your game and so please try and do that test your sims your houses your cc and your mods okay now if you still encounter issues i suggest watching these videos right over here because those involve resetting your ea folder your electronic arts folder and starting off with a fresh electronic arts folder where you you will add you know all of your saves tray and screenshots files back later on essentially so this is a much more elaborate 
you know, complex way to repair your game. And so if today's tips didn't really help you fix your game, you can obviously go ahead and try that method instead. Hopefully you liked this little video and hopefully you find it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly means a lot. Thank you so much once again for watching and thank you so much for sticking with me. It truly means a lot. And uh, I will see you very, very soon with a brand new upload. Have an awesome day, just like you. Bye, guys.